Okay. Um, so we just left off from the last video. Okay, again, you need to have uh, watched the last video for this one to make much sense. So we want to insert some data into our database. We want to send it from our form, right? And here our form, we have first name, last name, email, and city. So those four pieces of data are going to come across the wire, right? They're going to come across the wire. Um, and, right, they're going to come in the request, right, from the user's browser. And so we have our input. Um, here's the first input and the second input, third input, and the select menu right here. So you have to be very, very careful with these names, um, the spelling, etc. So I called it first name. I gave it the ID of first name. For consistency and to avoid errors, I recommend you just use the same names across the board. Uh, you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Last name, last name, email, email. Okay, here's city, city. All right, so we have four things there. And they're going to come to us right over here. Okay, and we're going to assign them to within the request itself we access those by specifying as you know from before first name last name city email and for consistency let's at let's assign them to variables of the same name okay um and now here's where it gets i guess you could say a little bit complex i recommend you copy my code exactly all right, so all of this is some SQL, okay? Insert into friends, the friends table, and we want to insert friend ID, first name, last name, city, and email. So what we're doing here is we are creating what's called a prepared statement. But first, where do we get this DB? Okay. We get it from code, which we kind of import or bring in ver by an include. In the previous uh, video, we talked about includes, okay, including DB connection. Here's DB connection. So here we create this object, and we use the new keyword with MySQL, MySQL li, okay. And now this is the mo this is the preferred way of doing it. Before you could just do it MySQL. Lower, we had there's a new um, class called MySQL li. Um, okay, so now we want to pass it some parameters. Localhost. Okay, our local computer. We created a user, some user. We gave him the password hello one two three. And here's our database. Remember, this one's the database, test database. And this one here is the table. OK. So there it is. Now let's assume there's an error. All right, now what is, by the way, what is this um, dash and the pointing bracket? Well, this is the way we can access a method or a property of an object in PHP, OK? Um, so we can say DB, okay, we do that, and now my IDE is suggesting all sorts of different properties and methods that are available to me, okay? And we're going to use this one later, insert ID. Uh, it's going to tell us which ID was inserted. Um, and I've used that in a number of different applications because sometimes other parts of your code um, will rely on uh, the particular record number that is, when we do an insert, it means we create a new record. And there is an ID, um, which is that primary key. The ID is the primary key. It's at, all right, at any rate, at any rate, let's, let's get back to where we are. So here, if there is a connection, error, connection error, then 
assign that connection error to message, and then echo that message out onto the browser screen. But hopefully that won't happen. But it will. It will. And I'll tell you right now, I'm going to tell you in advance, that at 60 or 70 percent of the errors you have dealing with your database will be th things like this. You'll type in that, but in fact, the full name is some user. Or more likely, here, um, we have in our post request, for example, post first name. We assign it to first name. And here we have first name, here we have first name. We mention it a lot, right? Just one of them, if just one of these variables is misspelled or you have an, you know, you have an extra letter or you switch things around, it will crash. Okay? But let's take this step by step. Okay. So here we're creating what's called a prepared statement. And we use this method prepare. Our database object prepare. And we're going to prepare a statement, and the statement is going to be some SQL. Structured query language. Okay, right? SQL SQL stands for structured query language. Okay? And so we're going to insert into this table friend ID, blah blah blah. Okay. Now I the values. Where are these values going to come from? Okay. Here, we are going to do it so that we can bind our values dynamically in our code into um, our SQL statement. Okay? So what we're inserting, we're going to define it down here with our variables. Okay? And maybe we are going to do something with it, right? We could change them around. So zero, this first one, zero, this corresponds to friend ID. And we are not going to create that ourselves. We're not going to bind that ourselves. Okay, we're the way we are here. Okay, we're binding down here. You'll see a little. Just give me a moment. I'll explain more. Um, but we're not going to do that because it is going to auto increment. It's going to naturally give it a new i a new record number in our database. Right. It's good. If we go here um, to our books or our database, right? Um, here, it's going to auto increment 18, 19, 20, just automatically. We don't want to mess with that, okay? It's going to go all the way up like that. Um, all right, so we put a zero there, okay? Now, each of these question marks, this, this corresponds to first name, this corresponds to last name, this corresponds to the city, and this is the email. And we have to do this in exact order, okay? It must be in exact order. Now, we're going to bind the parameters, and what is this here? SSS. That is a string, a string, a string, and a string, because all of these are if you guys remember, they are a varchar, varchar, varchar. Those are strings. Okay? So they need to match up. They, again, they need to match up. If I had put a decimal value in here, right, for like money, let's say I wanted to record the price of products. And then over here in my database, I gave that a string instead, it would, the whole thing will crash. Okay? So, uh, first name, last name, city, and email, they're all strings, they're all varchars. Okay? So we're binding those per parameters onto the prepared statement. Now, next, and what we're saying is in our code, define I, this function here, it says, look, in our code, we're going to, to define these different parts of our SQL statement by assigning variables, okay? We can do th lots of things with these variables, but when we execute the prepared statement, okay, when we execute it down here, it 
it will take as the last value we use um, and we will for example we could say um, we could do that so this way we would append or add on to every email we insert another part of a string well, there's no real reason that we want to do that, but you can see you can play around and twist and change and manipulate your variables uh, any way you want to prior to prior to um, execute before you invoke before you call this method execute. All right. Um, now what I've done is I've also assign to result the insert ID and that is the record number right remember the primary key and then we close our um, prepared statement and then we send it back out here just to give us some feedback all right um, again copy this code exactly okay copy it exactly I would go I would name your files the same thing at least the first time now, it may be that there'll be an error, but let's let's try. Um, let's call this one John Smith. Hello at. Um, oh, let's just call it. New, whoops. Oh, well, I. Sorry about that. Well, it worked, but let's call this one David Jones. I hit the return button. I pressed enter. And so it automatically invoked the button. So it looked like, well, there's our first record one, but let's do this. All right, here's Shenzhen. Um, all right. Let's. Now we may see in here, let's go over to our test database. You're going to see some funny uh, looking, you, you will see it in a moment. You see that? Some funny looking characters there don't worry about that don't worry about that you've already got um, we've got uh, the encoding in here done properly all right we're gonna be able to echo that out you'll see later that it will show the Chinese character so John Smith okay so none um, I didn't finish typing it out um, don't worry about this it's gonna be just fine um, Okay, let's try another one. Sally Swain and her email is Sally at SusieQDomains.com and she's from Dallas. Okay. Sally Swain, city and from Dallas okay um, okay now let's go on to the next video